Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday. It is the Earth Master out here once again. June 25th, 2025, 11.08 a.m. That's California time here. Latest activity on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 0.7 earthquake across the uh, Bay Area there, Northern California. We'll get to this activity and the rest of the movement around the globe here in just a minute. want to chat about space weather activity where we're expecting, well, well, they're forecasting a solar storm coming up here far as the auroras go with a g2 class storm forecast now i have yet to see it arrive um they're calling for looks like a uh, a little bit later than anticipated arrival time for that high speed solar wind stream with maybe tonight looking uh quite possibly a little bit uh let's see what we got for the time frame here it's 1800 right now well, that wouldn't be favorable here for the uh, North American side uh, for Auroras when the G2 class storm comes in. But uh, we'll watch that. Uh, we could get it at any time here. I was just looking at the real-time solar wind stream, and the conditions are favorable with this BZ component. They're well south, well open, uh, allowing the uh, you know the high-speed solar wind stream or any uh, plasma that comes in from the sun to amplify the Auroras. But... Uh, I'm not seeing any high-speed solar wind stream kicking up. It's all been around 400 to 450 KMs. And uh, I guess we'll just see what happens. But either way, when it does happen, pending it didn't miss us, uh, the Aurora should kick up here a little bit later on. So watch for that. Uh, no, nothing major going on as far as solar flare activity goes. We're still down into the B flare category. Not a whole lot of sunspots worth mentioning out here. We do have one newer sunspot. Let me see if I can show you guys here. Back over here across the northeastern quadrant of the sun. And a new one right here as well. This one's been growing in the last couple days. Uh, getting quite a bit of complexity in it. So we'll watch this one out of all of these on the earth-facing side of the sun. This is probably about the only one that may produce some C and M flare activity. All right, earthquake activity. Uh, a little bit of movement here in Southern California this morning. Let's make sure I got the most recent data, which I do. Uh, around the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault, including a 2.8 earthquake at the extreme southern end, right about the Brawley Seismic Zone and the uh, San Andreas Fault here, the locked segment, the southern end. Uh, some activity occurring around it as well on both sides of the plate boundary. So it looks like Southern California is starting to kick up out here in uh, various locations nothing big happening for now uh, the only earthquake there above 2.5 is going to be the one uh, near the Salton Sea and then one from yesterday there on the unnamed fault system there the Hollywood Hills area further up north San Andreas Fault here relatively quiet aside from a couple smaller microquakes the Bay Area quiet as well there's the uh, Clear Lake Volcanic Field hydrothermal plants there creating that earthquake activity with their energy production. Northern California, well, got uh, earthquakes from yesterday. Nothing new to report. I thought I'd seen a little spike here on the seismograph stations around Petrolia but, uh, or Mendocino, but those are offline for right now. Uh, Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet. Nothing new to report since yesterday. Inland. Yellowstone National Park, anything going on out here? Looks like a couple earthquakes added onto the map from yesterday. But uh, let's double check the Yellowstone seismograph station, the thumbnails. This is the overview of the uh, seismograms across the park. Uh, not a whole lot. There's a couple of those earthquakes that were added onto the USGS map there from yesterday. Nothing new to report for earthquake activity in that region. Down in Texas, oil fields rocking and rolling. But what's new? Nothing big going on there for now. Just a bunch of twos and occasional three and occasional five when it does decide to pop up there. Seems like every few months or so we get a five-pointer down there. But nothing in that magnitude range for now. A couple smaller earthquakes through Oklahoma and up in the Kansas. New Madrid seismic zone. One earthquake just after midnight. Little 1.7. That's not a big earthquake. Pretty quiet there across the uh, eastern portion of the country. Down here across the Puerto Rico Trench. Uh, the majority of these from yesterday, a couple more earthquakes after midnight, 3.8 and a 2.4. Still watching this area because, well, it's got some potential for some large earthquake activity. And we've seen a significant swarm out here in the last couple days. Close to 100 earthquakes there above 2.5 magnitude range. Uh, so continue to keep an eye there on that region. 
up in uh, Greenland and Iceland, getting some movement up here across the uh, this area of the plate boundary. Definitely uh, starting to show up here for sure. Uh, two earthquakes down here around Greenland, one way up north here. That's the latest quake in the Norwegian Sea area for a 5.0. So things starting to work its way back up north. I do expect uh, to see some further uptick here across the Japan area following this newer activity uh, into the northern hemisphere. Uh, let's take a look and see what we got for right now. A lot of movement here around Taiwan. Well, I, not Taiwan, but Japan and the Nankai Trough. Right there at the southern end. They've been swarming like crazy in the last couple weeks or so. Also around the Japan area. Although um, the majority of these here from late last night. So no newer, you know, really no newer activity to report here in this region. But I do expect it to kick up. Um, I guess the newest one's going to be a deep quake here. That 4.6. I don't even know if the USGS is reporting. It doesn't look like they are. Um right here around the Mariana Trench area pretty deep 4.6 but uh, nothing from the USGS but we'll continue to watch that uh, pretty active over here across this area of the planet where I've said you know to keep an eye on for some larger activity nothing big happening yet but we're starting to fill in in some of these quiet zones there along the uh, Java Trench with a bunch of threes bunch of activity here around the Philippines southward Again, nothing uh, major happening yet, but we'll watch that region closely. Today, the quiet zone extends from Papua New Guinea all the way over to Fiji, it looks like. So this could potentially fill in here as well throughout the day. New Zealand, 3.2. That is uh, northern, uh, off the coast there of North Island, southern end of the Kermadec Trench, it looks like. Alaska, not a whole lot happening up here. I uh, got a little 1.6 coming in here in the last few minutes, but uh, relatively quiet up there for now. Not seeing anything major. In fact, the 2.5 map and above, well, that only shows two earthquakes here. So uh, relatively quiet conditions up there in Alaska for now. That could fill in, obviously. I mean, it seems like when we get the northern uh, hemisphere getting uh, going up here across the Atlantic and areas north, that's when things start to kick up. Uh, around the planet as well as far as um, upticks in the northern areas north of the equator. South America region got uh, some older activity there from yesterday. Nothing major going on. Middle East, Mediterranean, some older activity. Uh, actually, it looks pretty quiet here today. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here. Space weather activity, we covered that. Um, let's see, seismograph stations. Yeah, see, I thought I thought a little. So I think I saw a little spike there. Uh, on Mendocino, a little small one there. It looks like, also down in, around Anza. That's about eighteen hundred. So it's gonna be that one point three down here in, in uh, Southern California, Northern California. For whatever reason, they're still stuck on not reporting earthquakes below two point five. That's just the way the preliminary earthquake data system gets set sometimes. I don't know why. I'm not in charge of it, but uh, there's definitely a little earthquake there, and it should have registered as some type of small microquake here in this area. But, again, I, I believe that uh, they're only reporting 2.5 and above for that area. Why certain regions do that, I, I just don't know. Uh, let's see here. What else we got for weather? Anything major going on there across the severe weather world? A lot of rain out there. I wish we had a portion of that here in California. This could be another hot one out here, close to 100. 2% uh, chance there for some tornado activity. Wind and a little bit of hail threats out there. Looks to be the main threats there in wind. The wind department out here across the area. Uh, Carolina's region. Uh, maybe even down into Georgia. So just a heads up for that. Uh, aside from that, folks, just uh, waiting on the arrival of the high-speed solar wind stream. Um, you know, it's just, I really don't see a whole lot happening right now. Again, these guys, uh, they tweaked the forecast up here a little bit, put it off a little bit more in terms of the arrival time, but technically we should have seen, uh, some G1 class storming by now, right? With that KP index up in the five range, it's well past that time period. We're at 1815, which would put us right here. So none of this kicked up overnight uh, with the BZ, BT component there. Uh, the c current conditions with it pointing south, we should have seen some auroras kicking up. 
that leads me to believe here, and possibly, I mean, it may just be arriving late, that, uh, well, it missed us. It should have arrived by now. So we'll just have to see what happens here for the remainder of the day and into tonight. In the meantime, folks, have yourself a wonderful Wednesday. Just going to take it easy today, I think. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't like the heat, so I may head somewhere where it's cooler. I just don't know yet. Have yourself a wonderful day, and uh, we will see you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening. Take care.